I was firstly inspired by the string theory universe, and each universe has their own uh, certain shape of string. And when you turn around this building and see uh, what's going on inside, you actually don't know, and you can only see part of the information of the building. It's a powerful little project. It's a simple project, but it's powerful because it's different on every. It's different from every side. It has the illusion of this great stillness of the cube. Right. And the, yet there's this thing right that's wrestling inside. Right. inside. So there's a tension in there. Which... My project here, I got really interested into the astronomical phenomenon of galaxy collision. All the galaxies are colliding and then interacting and pass through each other. So when I'm considering architecture part of it, I'm thinking about the collision of landscape and architecture and how can they pass through each other. The frame of the building is doing the sort of, this, you know, going back to the, the two things that are colliding but passing through each other. And you find a language out of that phenomenon and that's really, uh, that's fascinating. Imagine these cubical volumes becoming points when looked at from a distance, right. uh, which is what is very poetic, that you play with the point in different scales when it really becomes volume, volumetric. The project is developed um, thinking about parallel lines on one axis. On one hand, you have darkness. On the other hand, you have all the reality around you. At the same time, in another dimension, you can hear the forest, you can feel the forest, but actually you cannot see it. So you are inside, but at the same time, you are outside. What this does manage to do, though, is convey the, both the, the idea of gravitational attraction and infinity at once. I, I see value in that as, you know, in terms of the, you know, the way you conceptualize and put it into practice there. I started research from the cosmic dust cycle, and then I start to realize how the universe is evolving in cyclic motion and it's uh, achieved to an infinity point. And then I start to make models that I want to show how can we use architectural language to express the infinity of the universe. It has an energy of something that's set on Earth to observe up high. And I love that you worked with a mirror symmetry. How can you start from such no, a complexity and it doesn't feel symmetrical? It doesn't, you don't have any sense of, yet it is. The functionality we can come to at the end of four weeks, if we get a project at four weeks that's so brilliant, you can definitely make it function. I always believe that the functionality can be resolved. My project is mainly about how I was interested in the binary stars and then the way they orbit around each other because of the gravitational pull. And when I begin to make the folding paper, the limitation of the material allowed me to create a second language, which is also creating curves on a curved surface. It's very much like how the space-time curves work. When you have a drawing like this, I mean, these two drawings are so powerful they're like, may, they leave me speechless. They're like, they're like cosmic mystery or something. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that you, yeah, you took it very conceptually and, and kind of like thinking how these uh, dual uh, solar systems work, mm -hmm. but you didn't stay with it. You, you used that to create right. what is specifically an architectural language.